Aloha YouTube community. My name is Stephanie Satakis, or Nia for short. I am an American Council on Exercise certified health coach with a specialization in behavior change, along with being an American Lifeguard Association professional lifeguard. I also started the first Soul Health Coaching Company on Maui in January of this year. So the first thing I want to talk about is what is health coaching? Coaching is a collaborative partnership between the client and the coach. So training and education is involved, but only with the client's permission about things that they feel are relevant to their life. So ultimately, the client's values and visions guide the route that we take. Coaching is not counseling or therapy. I cannot prescribe medication or recommend supplements. So if something falls out of my scope of practice, we will reach out to your primary care physician or call upon an expert in my referral network. Health coaching is being implemented into our healthcare system for a couple different reasons. The number one being that it works. <laughs> uh, also, though, to reduce friction between patient and doctor, and also to help with provider burnout. But the ultimate reason health coaching is being implemented into our healthcare system is to help guide people in replacing unfavorable habits with better habits. So that's where the behavior science comes in, which I just find absolutely fascinating and at times hilarious. Um, so we realized, we as in the healthcare community, realized that most people know what to do. Everyone pretty much knows to eat more, sorry, <laughs> to move more and eat less. But the hard part is the how, which is understandable because there's a billion different combinations. And that is what really makes it hard to start, to start and to switch over into new habits. So if you haven't heard of him already, B.J. Fogg is a researcher out of Stanford University, and he is the founder of something called Tiny Habits. And Tiny Habits, there's a formula for behavior change, and that formula is behavior equals. So behavior is a combination of motivation, ability, and prompt. And a prompt is the action that reminds you to do the new behavior that you want to implement. So from my experience as a health coach and working with people, most people are pretty motivated. Um, they think they're not motivated, but they are. The action just hasn't been made simple enough to combat their current habits and their barriers to progress. So. The idea is that a bunch of tiny habits is much more robust than one big change. And eventually this one small change leads to other small changes that ultimately become habits embedded in your behavior. And a habit is what, just one type of behavior. So behavior is the big umbrella term for, I guess, your way of being. Um, and there's different kinds of behaviors. There's like one-time behaviors where you need to remember to do something this one time. Uh, there's short-term behaviors where you wanna do this thing for a month. Or there's permanent behaviors. There's also behaviors that you wanna stop doing. So a habit is just one type of behavior. And 
going back to this one small change, eventually this one small change leads into other small changes. So if you drop the ball on one thing, it's okay because you have tons of small habits that all support each other. Um, so behavior science is just so important and so fascinating. And it really is something that I always felt was missing from my education. Um, I went to Longwood University and got a degree in kinesiology. And I love kinesiology, but I do not like telling people what to do. Um, so that's probably why I was kind of awkward as a personal trainer, um, but now actually as my day job, I'm a swim coach. A pri I do private swim lessons with children and kids and adults, and I love it so much more being able to implement all the behavior science and positive psychology that I have learned this past couple years into that relationship. And I have seen just way more progress and just people improving leaps and bounds than before. So I feel behavior science is so important that it needs its own video. And if you enjoyed this video and you're curious to learn more, just stay tuned for next week as we talk about how this is going to relate to me, you, my company, Swell and overhead water sports as a whole. So that's surfing, canoe paddle, swimming, anything on the water. But my mission is to keep you on the water for longer by tailoring your goals to your values. And I believe that this is the only way to keep you doing what you love, but better. So thank you so much. And I look forward to being on the other end of the YouTube community. Have a great weekend. Happy Sunday.